the unveiling of the plaque signaled the official renaming of the hospital in Celeste Bird's honor complete. The facility now bears his name, the Celeste Bird Mount St. John's Medical Center. The hospital, the only tertiary level care facility in the country, and the brainchild of the national hero and former Prime Minister Celeste Bird, is a fitting tribute, as we learned from various speakers. Following Governor General Sir Rodney Williams reminds that the coming of the age of the hospital was told in Celeste's autobiography, The Comeback Kid, as it all started with a vision. Through his vision for a modern and efficient medical center, Sir Lester has provided the nation with an important infrastructural facility of, we should, of which all of us should be proud. Today, we applaud and acclaim the accomplishments of our national hero as we rename the Mount St. John Medical Center as the Sir Lester Bird Mount St. John's Medical Center. Not everyone saw the vision of Sir Lester though. Health Minister the Honourable Sir Malwin Joseph chronicled the discussions among the legislators in Parliament leading up to the construction of the hospital, including the pushback to the decision on the location. We have members of Parliament that envisioned on this site would be a facility of roaches and rats, not a facility where we undertake to do kidney transplants and some of the other things that we are doing routinely in this facility. What was being undermined was the building of a healthcare facility, the first hospital in the history of Antigua and Barbuda purpose-built. Insisting it's time to honor our own. If we can name a hospital after an individual who did not build it, had nothing to do with its construction, called Holberton, who was an archdeacon and did some humanitarian work. There should be never any question of the legitimacy of naming this institution the Celeste Bird Mount St. John Medical Center. It is time that we honor our own in this country. It is time. Prime Minister the Honourable Gaston Brown said there can be no doubt Sir Lester is deserving of the honour. Sir Lester literally placed his political career on the line for the development of this facility here. He was ridiculed, he was maligned, but he stood his ground because he recognised the bigger picture that Antigua and Barbuda needed a proper hospital. There can be no progress without a proper healthcare system ensuring that we have a healthy population. And Celeste prioritized this project. In fact, I have to give credit to Dr. John as well, Dr. Joy John, who worked relentlessly with Celeste to bring this project to fruition.